Welcome to the Gospel Road. Proverbs 4 is what uh, we're going to look at. It says, Hear, O sons of fathers, instruction. Be attentive that you may gain insight. For I give you good percepts. Do not forsake my teaching. When I was a son with my father, tender, the only one inside of my mother, he taught me and said to me, let your heart hold fast my words. Keep my commandments and live. Get wisdom. Get insight. Do not forget and do not turn away from the words of my mouth. Do not forsake her and she will keep you. Love her and she will guard you. The beginning of wisdom is this, get wisdom and whatever you get, get insight. Prize her highly and she will exalt you. She will honor you if you embrace her. She will place on your head a graceful garland. She will bestow on you a beautiful crown. Hear my son and accept my words that the years of your life may be many. I have taught you that the way of wisdom, I have led you in the paths of righteousness when you walk, you step with not, will not be hampered, and if you run, you will not stumble. Keep hold of instruction. Do not let go. Guard her, for she is your life. Do not enter the path of the wicked, and do not walk in the way of the evil. Avoid it. Do not go on in it. Turn away from it and pass on, for they cannot sleep unless they have done wrong. They are robbed of sleep unless they have made someone stumble. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. But the path of righteousness is like the light of dawn, which shines brighter and brighter until full day. The way of the wicked is like a deep darkness. They do not know over what they stumble. My son, be attentive to my words. Incline in your ears to my sayings. Let them not escape from your sight and keep them within your heart. For they are life to those who find them and healing to all their flesh. Keep your heart with all vigilance. For from it flow the springs of life. Put away your crooked speech and put devious talk far from you. Let your eyes look directly forward and your gaze be straight before you. Ponder the path of your feet, then all your ways will be sure. Do not swerve to the right or to the left. Turn your foot away from evil. Proverbs 4. Again, remember, read this. Where is it in your life? Reading Proverbs 4. Wisdom. Gaining insight. Instruction. Listening. Learning which is something we need to do every day. It's something I need to do on a daily basis. Always learning, gaining the knowledge, gaining the wisdom, gaining that insight. By learning that, it's things that I can share with others to help them. But it's not just on that. It's what it can do for me personally, what it can do for me professionally. It's interesting because of the conversations that I'll end up having with people. And even over the past 10 years or so, I always hear people talk about things that I know. I never admit to anything that I know. (laughs) No, I do not. But they are always sharing with me the things that I have. People are coming to me and asking me for ideas, thoughts. And I'm sure we've all heard that, that, you know, I want to hire you. I want you, you know, but I can't. I've ran into that a lot of times, you know, dealing with budgets and, or if I'm there and they're gaining all this and we're getting things done and then all of a sudden, poof, I'm now another line item veto. It happens to me a lot. I end up being the salary that corporate does not want to pay. Now I've kind of lucked out in the past few months and have really been blessed. And I was even approached yesterday by somebody who says, I've got an idea. I think we should go about this. We'll see. I'm always open to ideas. But sometimes it's, you know, really being cautious because many times people are looking to grab that knowledge from you. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't freely give it, but 
people can also take advantage of what you know and nothing comes back to you, which again, we shouldn't expect anything. So I just give and it's okay, which now, like I said, things are kind of turning around for me after about 10 years. It's a long journey. It's a long road. It can be frustrating. It's not easy. And nobody ever said it was. And we've got to remember that. But we also have to remember, no matter what, when you're kind of putting that guard up and wondering and, and, want, and deciding how you're going to go, that you know we still need to build up one another. We still need to help others be the best that they can be. I was remembering, a, a, it was either a book that I read or it was in a, uh, um, a seminar that I was attending. But they said sometimes the best feeling is when you have helped someone, you have shared what you know to help a person grow, and they advance beyond you. I know some people do not like that because they don't think anyone should go beyond them when it's their knowledge. But that's a great thing to know. And there's been a few people that I know that that has happened, that I've helped them, and and they've really blossomed. And it's great. You know, I'm not going to deny that I have my days of, you know, what about me? (laughs) But it happens. That's kind of the way our minds go. It's the human condition. You know, what about me? I, I, I. And even though there is an I in what we need to do, we need to still look at others to build them up and help them be the best that they can be. We're gaining the instruction. We're gaining the insight. We're able to take that and share that with others. We're able to turn that into something great. It's funny because they always say there's no I in team, but there is me if you turn around the letters a little bit. (laughs) How are you treating one another? How are you treating your mom? How are you treating your dad? Are you listening to your father and the instruction that he gives? Are you listening to God and, and listening and seeing what he is sharing with you? It's interesting because how we are doing things and where our minds go and how we hold on to that information that is given to us. Just remember, we always need to be learning. We always need to be gaining something. We're growing every day. And it doesn't matter if you're 25, 15, 85. You're growing. Your mind is there to bring that knowledge in, to gain more instruction, to gain more insight, to gain more wisdom that you're able to then pass along to Others, those younger than you that you may be mentoring, those in your peer group that you're working together to help through things. Share that. Willingly share that. Willingly give that to others to help them be the best that they can be, building them up to really succeed in life, personally, professionally, and spiritually. How are you really feeding into them, gaining that insight, sharing that insight? Sharing that instruction. I know, I, I, again, I, I say I, I do this the best I can. And, and there's one thing, you can share that. Some will listen and some will not. I mean, we all know, we run into the people every day that you can't tell them anything because they already know it all. They've been to all these seminars. They've read all these books. So there's nothing more that you can tell them because this is how they told me to do it. And this is how I'm going to do it, even though it's not working. A lot of times when you're reading those things, all these books, all these seminars, they're great. They're tools, though. And sometimes with that tool, it could have worked great for them, but it doesn't work exactly the same way for you. You're not able to do it the exact same way because you're not them. It's taking all those great things that you're learning and being able to put them in together to formulate a plan, a strategy to move forward, to find something that's going to be successful, to find something that's going to work. We're not minions. We're not soldiers to do it the exact same way. Because, again, 
We're not able to do it the exact same way, even though that's kind of how we're taught and raised. I mean, I, I know I've worked at so many places and they train you something. They go, this is how you do it. Now, I'm not saying that there aren't certain things that you, there are steps to do that. You have those steps to go through. But sometimes there's certain things that you can do and there might be a couple different ways that you can do it. And I know, and again, there are some that, no, 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 this is how I know. And this is uh, because they're very just kind of like narrow and focused. And that is how they know you do it any different. You're doing it wrong. I can't believe you're not paying attention to what I am telling you. I've had people, they get mad at me. I mean, furious. Because I was doing something. And I was doing it a little different. We're getting to the exact same destination. My way might be a little faster, maybe not, but it was easier for me to comprehend to work through, but it was not good enough for them because it's not how they did it. Again, that's not how it always works. Sharing that, taking the knowledge and putting it together, gaining the instruction, always learning, but remember to build up others, to really help them understand what they're doing to help them be that better person. I'm still making my way through the Dale Carnegie book and it's really interesting all of the quips and the sayings and pieces that I'm going through and the stories that you've never read it, read it. You'd need to, it's, it's a great book and it's funny by reading it. It says to read it quickly and then go back and read it again. It's just like when I've watched a movie or read anything, it's like, you know, reading the Bible, I go back and you're reading it multiple times. And every time you go back and read it, you find something else, which is the reason why I say when I do this podcast and I share this information with you and I'm again, I'm reading this and this is kind of what's going through my mind, but what's going through yours when, when you go through that, which is why you need to read it for yourself. Again, Proverbs four is what we looked at today. So check that out. Thank you for listening to The Gospel Road. Have a great day. God bless.